What did you think about the Ferris wheel ride? I liked it. Yeah? Yeah. Normally I'm not a big fan of Ferris wheels, but this is a little more enclosed, so I'm not too worried about it. Yeah. Plus, you gotta admit, like, the view is pretty awesome. Yeah, and it doesn't sound like it's gonna break every time you go around. No. Now that guy on the other hand. Yeah, that I would not want to ride because that just sounds like something wrong with it. The zipper. Dun dun dun. Thinking about riding this it's called the Matterhorn. It costs like five tickets, which is like. We yeah, bought, you think they'll like. I think that ride is based off of like people's weight and how fast it goes. If it's just us. It's not gonna go very fast. Yeah, but I mean, if you if you look, I mean, there's only two people sitting on each car. So it'd be the same as if it were you and me. No, I'm saying, I mean, like with other people in it. <laughs> So Matterhorn. Yeah. That one was freaking crazy. Like it wasn't. I don't know. I didn't get sick. Like I didn't feel nauseous or anything on it. Like I thought I would. But it whips you the hell around. Let yeah. me tell you. Like that one was crazy. And we're both about the same weight. So Brent was trying to like, and I was on the outside. So Brent was squishing into me. The first time around when we were going forward, he had my leg pinned. And then the second time around, he was trying to like. Hold trying, himself over to yeah, the side. I was trying to fight gravity with everything I had. Yeah. I but won, but it was no actually surprisingly a lot of fun. So yeah. not too bad. So now we're just waiting for my parents to get off the Ferris wheel, which they're on right now. Um, yeah. Although money wise, so we spent twenty dollars and could ride two rides. We rode the Ferris wheel and we rode Matterhorn, and that was our whole twenty dollars. So yeah. So there's if you that. get here early enough, I think it's like after three p.m. You can get unlimited rides. It was after on, six. After six. Six to close. They close at eleven. We're at the McLean County Fair, by the way. Um, close to or six to close, which is eleven p.m. So for five hours, if you pay thirty dollars per person, you get unlimited rides for the rest of the time. But these are the only two that we really had any interest in, so mm -hmm. it wasn't worth it for us. But you know, just to let you know, if you're into like fair carnival rides, that might be worth it to get here then, and you know. Yeah. Get the wristband, but it wasn't worth it for us. It would have cost us sixty dollars instead of twenty. Anyways, Matterhorn was pretty fun. Now we're just waiting for them to get off the Ferris wheel. And they are 15, 12, right 11. over there. So, yep. Right in the corner. We'll talk to you later. Bye. figure out where I was at with my aim. It goes so fast. Hello. Um, I am going to be driving around in town a little bit, so you guys get to be behind the steering wheel again. Yay. Ooh. Got some, like, traffic jam, construction-y type stuff going on at the gym. So, yeah. Anyways, I was thinking while I was in the gym about a whole bunch of stuff I wanted to talk to you guys about. One of those things is that, so, as much as we would like it to be, um, obviously our lives, we live in Illinois, and even though we're pass holders, obviously our lives are not all Disney and Universal and Six Flags and, f and fun stuff, so, um, 
But we've also tried the daily vlogging thing and we just, we couldn't keep up with it. We both have full-time jobs and not only that, but there's just not a whole lot around us that's interesting to do that we can vlog and we don't get a whole lot of time off together. So anyways, the daily vlog thing didn't really work out. We did try back in 2016 when we first started vlogging. So I was thinking and I haven't brought this up to Brent yet, but I, I will and I'm sure that he's um, going to go along with it just fine. If not, then you know, you'll, you'll never see this video. Anyways, um, there are some things every once in a while that we film that we would like to share with you guys, but they're just little snip, like little tidbits here and there. Like uh, the other day we went to the McLean County Festival in Bloomington, Illinois, and we did some fun stuff. Like, you know, we ate really bad fried food that I'm still regretting. We rode the Ferris wheel at sunset. We rode this other ride called the Matterhorn, which anyways, we kind of, we filmed a little bit just because I guess it's habit when we're doing something fun to film. Or like if we're out just geocaching, but like only doing a couple of caches here and there, I wanted to be able to do something with those clips of video, but I knew that I couldn't make a full video out of them. So I was thinking, and I took this idea from Blair Blogs, um, whose channel I will link up above if it lets me, or um, I'll put her in the description box down below. She does weekly vlogs, like just little, you know, snippets from the whole week. And I really like that idea, especially for us, because we do do fun stuff every once in a while and you know, we can keep you updated because basically what it comes down to is that we want to be able to provide you with content, but at the same time, we don't always have something worthwhile to film, if that makes any sense whatsoever. So, I was thinking of doing the weekly vlog thing, just putting up a block of clips from a whole week and you know, just telling you what day it is, whatever. So I'm gonna bring that up to Brent and see what he thinks. Um, I can't think of any reason why he would be against that. So hopefully you guys will get at least one vlog from us every week. And then not just that, but you know, like the specialized vlogs, like if we are in Disney or like I still have to film our budget video, things like that. Okay, so I don't know if I've shown you guys this yet, but we got bumper stickers for both cars. Isn't that super cute? I don't want to get too close to it because I don't want it to like go, but this will take you directly to our YouTube channel. Okay, I don't know what is happening to me today. Like, I don't know if it's a good luck day or a bad luck day because so I did a stupid thing. I put everything on my passenger seat and then hit the unlock button so that like all the doors would unlock and then I went to go, oh that's really cute, I went to go get back into the car and the doors had locked. So I had to crawl through the back window of my car, like not open the hatch, but like the window part. I had to crawl through the back window to get into my car to unlock the door. So I was like, ah, screw this. And then um, my front door, from like just having barely opened it um, before you know, like it locked because that's really cute too because it like locked while I was opening it okay sorry it like locked while I was opening it so it was like just partially open so I went to shut the door and the alarm goes off so I turn off the alarm and I'm like fine okay this is the kind of day I'm gonna have and then I look in my purse and find $20 like $20 just in like a zipper pocket that I never use. So, what? Oh, let me show you though um, why I get a lot of my like Disney shirts here. So they have like so many really cute shirts. Oh my gosh, I love this one. I have, I have that one, that mischief manager one. There's like a bunch of really cute, oh my gosh, a bunch of really cute Disney shirts and these are like two for $20. It's gonna be an Alice in Wonderland shirt. Home is where my cat is. Huh. Anyways, they're like two for twenty dollars. They're only ten bucks, and right now I have fifteen percent off. So, so that makes all of those shirts like eight dollars and fifty cents, and that's really hard to pass up. So, 
you know. But, <laughs> I came in here for a reason and I forgot what that reason was. So, I'm going to give you guys a little bit of behind the scenes of the editing process. I am in Starbucks. This is my favorite place to edit because if I edit at home, then I will inevitably end up putting it off and doing something else. Folding laundry, going outside, like anything. I will literally find anything else to do. So, this is my most productive space and I'll kind of show you just, you know, my surroundings. Got some videos rendering here from the Hollywood Studios day. Um, this video is pretty much just going to be like Toy Story Land. It's a couple of POVs and stuff like that. So that's going. But otherwise, I'm just chilling at Starbucks. So like I'm very particular about where I sit. I like to have my spot and I am in the corner and somebody was sitting there so I was patiently-ish waiting for him to leave. He just left so I snagged my spot. But if you go to Starbucks and it's pretty packed because it was pretty packed in here like I had a hard time kind of trying to find a seat that had an outlet by it. Please, please don't take up an entire table with your drink. Like he was sitting here, had all this stuff, and then on the table next to him he just had his drink. And I am too socially awkward and introvert and all that good stuff to ask him if I could sit there, but like if you see that it's busy and there's a lot of people in here, a lot. Come on. Use your head. Okay? Don't don't use a table just for your drink. That's my little PSA moment. So, sorry for the weird angle, I'm now tethered by my phone cord. Um, I also wanted to apologize in advance all of the Disney videos. I don't really outro any of them. Like, I don't say goodbye to you or anything. They'll kind of end abruptly. And I'm aware of that. Um, I wanted to vlog as much as possible, but like I said in, I think, probably the beginning video, which I'll link up above, um, I... I was with a coworker and her two younger children, so I couldn't, like I had to be careful when I was vlogging, you know what I mean? Like to try to get them in there as little as possible because I don't, I don't know, I didn't find that appropriate and they were totally cool with me vlogging, but you know, I didn't uh, find it appropriate to have them in the videos um, as much as I could, so they are kind of abrupt ending and it won't be that way all the time. It's just going to be this trip's video. So, sorry in advance. I did just want to throw that out there. Also, I promise this whole weekly vlog thing is not just going to be me talking at the camera. Okay, bye. Hello and good morning, everybody. Today is the 9th of August. It is Thursday. Uh, pardon my appearance. I just dropped Brent off at work. And I just wanted to give you guys kind of an update. I, I did promise that this um, weekly vlog thing wasn't just going to be me yapping, but, um, well, I, I, have, I don't really get to see him too much, so there hasn't been a lot of him vlogging lately. Anyways, I wanted to give you guys an update. Um, I am going to be getting a breast reduction, and if you guys don't already know from watching previous videos, I am very well endowed, um, way too much so. And, um, so I'm going to be surgically fixing that. And I just wanted to give you guys kind of that life update because I just made my first appointment with, um, the plastic surgeon. I just made my consultation appointment. So that is my update of the day so far. Uh, let's see what else is going on today. I just got to Starbucks. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to have time to do any editing because... I work a little earlier today than normal closing shift works, but I am going to be booking a rental car for our upcoming Walt Disney World trip, so that's really exciting. Maybe. I might do that next check. I don't know. This check um, of Brent's, not to get like too much into financial stuff because like I said, I don't really feel comfortable. I'm stopping now so I can hold you guys right here. I don't really feel too comfortable talking about our financial situation specifically with, you know, the public on the internet, but 
Brent's last paycheck that he just got yesterday was not great because of the time that he was in the hospital um, and he missed he missed days for that so wasn't stellar my last paycheck bef uh, last week wasn't stellar because I had to take days off when he was in the hospital to take care of him we had no family in town like his dad and his stepmom live in Arizona his mom and his kind of stepdad live in like South Carolina and my parents were vacationing in Canada so I was it so I, I had to take off work so I could be with him um, just in case anything happened I needed I needed to be there so I'd take off work for that and then right after that on the same paycheck was my last Disney trip um, that I've been putting the vlogs up for so both of us our last two paychecks have been more like half checks um, so I don't actually know if I'm going to be booking that on this check or on the next one that will actually be a full one so but I am gonna be looking around um, a cool thing that I found out if any of you guys are our age um, and have AAA well for I'm sure you know that renting a car if you're under 25 they charge you out the butt because you know you're a more dangerous or like a more high-risk driver or whatever anyways so they either don't run out to you if you're under 25 or they charge you like mad like $200 a day and I've, I've looked at it anyways if you have AAA you can bypass the 18 to 25 year old fee so we've never rented a car before this is going to be our first time renting a car and I'll kind of take you through that process when we do it um, just in case you guys have never rented a car and you needed to know uh, especially if like I said if you're our age so uh, that is my update for the day I'm gonna go into Starbucks maybe get something to drink um, look around at the rental cars through AAA that are available and just kind of see what what uh, price point we're, we're looking at so that I know and decide if we're going to do that now or in a week. Anyways, I will talk to you guys a little bit later. Bye. Good morning, everybody. It is Saturday the 11th. The 11th. Um, I just dropped Brent off at work. It's about 6.30 in the morning. And I am going to take myself out to breakfast. Um, there's this little diner, it's called Four Star, and they make some really good skillets. So I'm thinking, I'm really tired. Um, I didn't get to sleep last night, not really, until like 5, and I had to be up at, well, we had to leave the house at like 5.45. But anyways, um, I think that some coffee and a skillet are in order. But first... I got something last night that I really have been wanting to try, but I wanted to try it, like, with you guys. So I waited until morning. I don't know if you guys have seen the new Lay's flavors. Um, okay, so first of all, there's ketchup, ew, um, Giordano's pizza, which I have not tried yet. That'll be the next one I try. And the other one is bacon-wrapped jalapeno popper. It's probably backwards for you guys. But anyways, um, that is, like, my number one all-time absolute favorite, like, appetizer. I'm gonna try them and see just how, like, the real thing they are. Okay. Mmm. Okay, it's really interesting. Um, the flavors don't really hit you all at once. They kind of go at separate times. Sorry, like, camera's here, screen is here, so I keep going back and forth. Um, oh. Jalapenos first, and then the cream cheese. And then it never really, like, straight tastes like bacon. But there's, like, an overall bacon-type flavor. Mm. Mhm. Mm it tastes like a popper. That's so funny. Mm. That is like probably the closest that you can get a potato chip to taste like a jalapeno popper. 
That is super dangerous, guys. Oh my god. Mm. Uh, oh my god, y'all, I'm so full. Um, I just ate my huge, delicious skillet. Well, I only ate like half of it. Um, I never finish them, and I knew I wouldn't finish it, but Brent wasn't feeling too good this morning, and I figured he probably didn't eat breakfast, so I'm going to be bringing him the rest of my breakfast when he goes on lunch. But I was in there for like an hour, and I didn't really expect... I don't know, I guess I didn't really think that I'd been in... Instagram notification. I guess I didn't really think that I'd been in there for that long, but um, I was. I was in there for like 45 minutes to an hour. Just like, it's really nice, um, like small diners, like small town diners, because first off, the food is usually like pretty good for the price. And it definitely is. Like, I go there for a reason. The coffee is not super great. It's okay, it's coffee. But, um, the food is very good. And also because they're so super chill about you just like hanging out in there for the most part. I'm gonna put you guys right here. It's a little more comfortable for my arm. Um, they're usually like super chill about you hanging out unless you're like drunk or being loud and obnoxious. So I was just like sitting by myself, you know, like eat my food pretty slowly, scrolling through Facebook and Instagram, you know, just kind of hanging out, chilling. And I came out, I dropped right off at 6.30, went pretty much straight, went straight to the diner, um, talked to you for like a couple minutes and then went inside. And I came back out and it was like 7.25, so I didn't, ex I didn't expect to be in there for that long. Um, I'm like hardcore debating taking a nap. And just in case I wanted to take a nap, I even brought my super comfy TARDIS blanket. So I'm still debating if I want to take a nap. But the only problem is if I take a nap now, if Brent texts me and tells me he's going on break, then I'm going to miss it. So I think the best thing to do right now is to be going inside. I'm a Starbucks, by the way. I don't know if you... Starbucks. I'm a Starbucks. I think I'm going to go inside and edit. I still have like two or three Disney videos to edit. And then I, um, since it's Saturday... And I want to put up the weekly vlogs every Monday, which, by the way, I did talk to Brent about it now. Like, he's he is cool with the weekly vlogs. Um, since I want to have them up every Monday, I figure I should probably start editing this week's weekly vlog, too. So, I have, like, so much editing to do. And I have some studying to do because I'm sure you guys know by now. I am in, well, I'm not in pharmacy school yet, but I am pursuing pharmacy school and I'm a pharmacy technician right now, but I'm not certified yet. So back in the back, hiding back there, I got my textbooks. So I have a lot of editing to do and I have some studying to do so I can take my certification test. So I should probably get on that and go inside and not take a nap. Plus I wanted to go to the gym at like nine. So <sighs> maybe I'll just go to the gym later. I'm going to the gym today. I'm going to the gym today. Yes. I have to. I have to go to the gym today. I've already posted on Instagram. Um, if you guys follow me on Instagram, then you would have seen my story. Probably. I don't know if you guys look at my stories. But I think what I'm going to be doing, at least some of the days that I go to the gym, is putting a poll on Instagram with, like, two different body parts that I should work and asking which one I should do and having you guys pick for me. Because that's actually kind of, I don't know, fun for me, I guess. Uh, that's what I did last time. I, like, posted the poll, did my warm-up, which lasts about a half an hour, and then looked at the results after about a half an hour and did my work uh, my workout based off of that. Ended up being back day, which, let me tell you, by the way, my back is so sore. So, y'all worked me hard, any of you who voted. Um, anyways, enough rambling, because I've been rambling for four minutes now. So, I'm going to go inside and get some editing done, and maybe I'll go to the gym this afternoon before Brent gets off work. Look who I found. This Frosty is good. I have vanilla. Tell us down below, comment, which is better, chocolate or vanilla? Chocolate. Vanilla. Chocolate. I like both, but I think the vanilla is really good. I don't like, like certain vanilla things, like, like the Briar's vanilla bean. Yeah, well, anything that's, like, legit vanilla bean is better. Mm -hmm. 
but it's really sweet and mm -hmm. I like it a lot. Mm. Also, comment down below if you eat like ice cream like this or like this. Like if you pick it up and I do both. Mm -hmm. I do too. Like I do the first one first and then once you have like this much left on the spoon I do the other no, one. No, sometimes I'll get like this now. Mm -hmm. I just do that second to get the rest of it off the spoon. Nice mustache. Yeah, I kind I kind of I was good tipping it to to drink some of the melted stuff and it all came at my face at once. <laughs> I'm going to go get a napkin. <laughs> you know how you can tell that it's about noon right now? This is the end of the drive through line and drive through wraps all the way around to the like other side of the building. Like, that's where drive through is. That way. And I just got up and there was just a crowd of people at like the condiments area. Yeah. It's lunchtime. Okay. So Bren thinks that he's cleaning the windshield and he's like so not. Like, I don't know if you can see it, but there's still bird poop streaks everywhere. It's still there. Look at that, look how gross that is. Because he sucks at wiping off the windshield. Look at him, thinking he's hot stuff out there. Look at that smile on his face. <laughs> Gosh darn it. I was like, okay, let's do it. And then I found out yesterday that it was all a lie.